So here we are, we're playing 720p video uh, off of my 15-year-old PC. And you can see it's skipping around just a little bit. It, it's not having a great time, uh, but it's doing it. So you can see here, I have GPU acceleration. You can see I'm running the NVIDIA... Uh, Drivers, 340 drivers on this. Uh, and yeah, I've, I've managed to get some hardware acceleration. Um, it's not using everything up, but it's uh, it's using more than it was. It's been a little bit of a wild ride getting here. But uh, let's go over some of the stuff I've had to do to get this. So I've been showing you videos of live USBs. But if you come over here to the actual PC, I got it opened up. I've been just playing around with it, so I got it in kind of a test bench type configuration. I can see I have an SSD now, so now I have the uh, so I can show you Linux actually installed to hardware and with the added boost of an SSD, uh, which is pretty nice. So I am running Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, uh, I had Ubuntu 16.04 on this drive as well, and I have like Debian Bookworm. I think I have uh, Fedora 35 on this drive as well. Uh, the best one so far, though, has been 18.04 because Ubuntu 18.04 has given me hardware acceleration. Uh, it's given me access to the NVIDIA drivers. 16.04 as well, and actually 16.04 gave me better hardware acceleration in Firefox. Whereas in 1804, I can't get hardware acceleration to work in Firefox, but it works just fine in Chromium. So that's not my favorite, but it's what it is. So here we are, though. We're inside the PC, and I have a couple upgrades. Right? So I, I, have, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I have, uh, I've upgraded the RAM in this PC kind of early on uh, from 1 gig to 4 gigs. Sadly, one of the gig sticks died, so I had to put a half gig stick back in. So I'm stuck with one at 3.5 gigs of DDR400 RAM. Uh, I've got a, a gigabyte, gigabit NIC card in here. It's the left PCI card, uh, and that you know this computer can't push a full gigabit, but it can push more than the 10100 line, a uh, landline that's like connected to the motherboard. So putting that NIC card in gives me about 300 megabits per second. Uh, tested in iPerf and also tested against my network connection, uh, or my my internet connection uh, in, in CLI mode though. If I do CLI speed tests, I can get a much better result than if I'm trying to also drive the, the desktop where I can get about 50 megabits per second. Still really not bad. Uh, to the left of that is probably the other big upgrade I've made. So I, I got this SSD, uh, Vision Tech, uh, you know, uh, mystery box style. Uh, and then I also got this graphics card. I ended up getting four graphics cards. The hope was to get something I could put in this PC. Uh, one of them is PCI Express Gen 2, so we have the one PCI Express slot in here, but it is Gen 1. Uh, two of them were PCIe Gen 1, but uh, sadly they were high power draw cards. So they were pretty powerful uh, ATI Radeon cards, and I only have a 300 watt OEM power supply in here, so it's not really super great, but I did have this one NVIDIA card. Uh, I didn't know exactly what I had until I took the cooler off and cleaned it up, but it is a, a GeForce 210, and it is a PCI configuration. So this is really not for gaming. This is really just to accelerate your desktop a little bit and to, to be able to push an HDMI signal out. Uh, and like I said, it's been a little bit of a chore to get this card to work. Because, I mean, yeah, this card will work with the Nouveau drivers uh, pretty easily. That's not a problem. But it doesn't do great with things like hardware acceleration uh, unless you use the proprietary NVIDIA drivers. So I first figured out how easy this was. Uh, I have Lubuntu 14.04 installed on the spinning drive, my, my uh, hard drive in here. So I'll close this down for a sec. Uh, and I've, I realized pretty quickly that there isn't much you have to do. You just have to go over... Two. I mean, and, and this is this is how things have gone in, in uh, Ubuntu for a very long time, right? Uh, in fourteen oh four, it works this easily. Uh, in sixteen oh four and in eighteen oh four, it's always just straight up worked out of the box. Uh, and so you you go over here to additional software, and it's going to take a second. It's going to search for available drivers, 
And then it'll show you exactly which drivers you can use and which ones you want to use. Uh, I'm, I'm actually not 100% sure how it's going to work with 1804 because I don't know. Uh, I think I'm actually using... I, I don't think it upgraded the kernel specifically because of this problem where I don't think the NVIDIA drivers would work. Uh, oh, here we go, here we go. So, yeah. The, 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 the hilarious thing is that on other versions, the 309 is considered a legacy driver. And so the 309 uh, driver is still available as well. I, I don't know that it's necessarily better, but I think the 340 was, are, are the best ones to grab for this card. Uh, but there you go. I mean, all really I gotta do is click over, click on that, uh, reboot your system, you know, let it do its thing, reboot your system and it'll catch on to the NVIDIA graphics. Uh, I, I, I think I had to actually force the, f the usage of uh, this card uh, through specific, uh, like specifically recalling this, the PCI slot that it's in. But uh, yeah, I mean, pretty straightforward uh, in terms of actually getting the proprietary drivers to work. The annoying thing about 340 proprietary drivers is that they, re, they, are, they are no longer supported and you can't get them to work on a kernel that is above 5.4, uh, I think. So that, that creates a, a, a problem and that's why I'm on 18.04 now. Uh, I, I went up from 16.04 to 18.04 because 16.04, although it's, security, or it's supported by extended security maintenance, I, I just prefer to be on an actual supported uh, distribution. So 1804 is still so under support and you know, it works fine. It works fine for exactly what I'm looking for. The only problem I had was that uh, weirdly uh, Firefox does not want to use hardware acceleration. Uh, Firefox 95 this does not want to use hardware acceleration and I don't know exactly why that is. I haven't been able to like solve that. But weirdly Chromium does work with hardware acceleration here. Uh, and that's kind of funny to me because I have in the past had the inverse issue where I've had a hard time getting Chromium to hardware accelerate but uh, video, but I, I can easily hardware accelerate uh, other types, uh, or I can hard accelerate hardware a lot easier in Firefox. Uh, Firefox worked great in 16.04, not working great in 1804. I don't know what the difference is. I think it was like Firefox 88, I think was the version I had before I, I just made the upgrade uh, to 1804. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but there we go, there we have it. So that, that, was, that was video. Now let's show you a little bit something else real fast. Uh, I have a game on here. A game I, it's kind of fun to play. Let's close this stuff up. Sorry, I have a real shit mouse attached. This is a, it's a track, tracking ball mouse. I don't use a mouse too often, but I, I have a, a PCI mouse attached to the, or PS2 rather, mouse attached to this. So let's play a game. Now, this is a game that many people might kind of know. Uh, I guess I'll, I'm gonna shrink this down because frankly, it's not a great experience either way, but uh, I wanna be able to show you the GPU stuff while we're doing the same, while we're doing everything. So we're gonna open up here. So let's see what happens. All right, game's loaded, 96% GPU utilization, 98%. Pretty cool, so it's pushing that all the way to the max. Not using a whole bunch of the, the dedicated video RAM for this, which I think is a little bit confusing, uh, but it's fine. And you can see this isn't like any kind of amazing experience. It's going thir uh, 13 frames per second, 16 frames per second, but it's actually surprisingly smooth and playable, like a responsive. Uh, it was not this responsive with the Nouveau driver. Uh, I can't use a mouse and also at the same time move this around, but you can see that it's definitely like pegging the GPU, which is actually kind of a surprise to me. That wasn't exactly what I expected uh, out of this, out of a gaming experience on this. I, I thought the, the the CPU would easily cap first. Um, but let's actually look at that as well. Let's see what's going on there. Let's go and let's hit up H top or top rather, either way. Um, yeah, and it's actually not even, well, yeah, no, it is pegging the, the processor as well. So weirdly, weirdly a reasonable match, right? Uh, so I got, this is, this is hundred percent CPU utilization and I'm about a hundred percent GPU utilization. 
So a nice little overlap. Let me actually pull up H top just because I think it's a little bit clearer. It's a mistake on my part anyways. So it's the load that I'm usually pretty interested in. And surprisingly, the load is only at about one, uh, which is which is not unreasonable. Once it starts hitting like two, three, four, which I've had it run uh, on this computer pretty regularly, uh, then that's when I start having concerns, but you can see it's, it's still, it's not, not, usually, not utilizing more than half the memory. It's not even using a quarter of the memory, uh, though it is cached out and using just the slightest bit of swap. But yeah, look, you know, like I'm saying, you know, this is uh, wild, you know, everything works. You know, um, this doesn't look, it doesn't look amazing, but it's not awful. I had to, did have to turn up basically all the settings down uh, so, you know, there's no fancy shaders, there's no uh, anything going on here, but it it does add work. It plays, and it plays at like a smooth enough pace that I don't think, or, you know, I don't think a kid would care. Uh, I don't care, you know, as a person who's just like excited to see this thing do something more than it was able to do before. Uh, I, I'll probably have to boot into the Radeon drivers at some point to do a comparison. But look, I mean, that's that's just doing everything it's supposed to do. Um, you know, if, if you're not like doing a big, if you're not looking over an expansive area, right? Like as soon as I, uh, I start looking around like expansive long draws, it starts hitting lower towards like the 20, 20 FPS. But I mean, if I'm just like literally staring at the the ground, Right, like, uh, well, it didn't really do what I thought it was. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm staring in certain, yeah, see, here we go. Uh, big, big frame jump up to 46 frames per second, right? So, I mean, it can do some some pushing. It just really does not want to push all the way out. So, I have a shortened draw range. Um, this version of Mind Test is a little bit weird because I expect uh, Mind Test to, I, to be able to, I, I expect to be able to make. Some, some more specific changes to like the draw range and stuff. But uh, those options don't seem to be available here, which is kind of weird. So we're gonna exit to the menu and I'll show you that I, yeah, I usually, oh, 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 advanced settings. Wait, what? How did I not see that before? So we're gonna go to <clears throat> uh, client. We're gonna go to graphics. I'm gonna go in game and we're gonna go to advanced. Um, we're going to max FPS at 30, All right? So let's, 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 let's try doing that. And then let us do uh, viewing range. I'm going to change the viewing range short. We're going to change it to something short, like 50. Ooh, that doesn't, I don't know why it doesn't like to, okay, whatever. Let's give it a really short drawing range. And the, the immediate one was 150 is what it came with. Uh, all right, back to settings. All right, all right. Oh, right, okay, so now, we, now we're at about 29 frames per second, 29 frames per second. Ah, oh, here we go. Now that's about a 30 frames per second experience. Oh, there we go. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I was looking for that. But this is like 100% a playable experience, you know? Uh, it's not great by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, but uh, yeah, here we are. You know, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Running into a wall. But yeah, here we go. I got it at 30 frames per second uh, on a GeForce 210. I mean... It's just, uh, to me, this is all wild, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, yeah, look at the, the GPU utilization is down a little bit, so it can push a little bit more. And even the CPU utilization is down uh, now that it's not pushing nearly as hard. The load is very reasonable. Uh, yeah, so this is like a, like a you know, Minecraft clone. Uh, it's not Minecraft by, by any means, but uh, it is intriguing. So... Here we are. There we go. Uh, I just kind of want to show y'all uh, this this crazy graphics card and some of the some of what it's able to do. I mean, honestly, it's it's really just it, it's exciting to see this computer uh, kind of just running at a, in a way that is 
uh, reasonable. <laughs> so watch, like, I mean, even with just like when I open up this menu here and I, I, I crawl through it, right? So boom, that just opens. When I hit right, it just opens. It doesn't have any wait times. That used to take, like we used to have to process, the driver would have to like chug a little bit to get that done. I'm gonna open a web browser. We're gonna open Chromium. Cause like I was saying, oh, see, and it just opened up. Now that, that just opened up the first time that fast. And frankly, now it's cached, so that's even crazier. Um, we're actually gonna set my default browser as Chromium. Why not? Because I want Chromium in this particular uh, setup. Uh, and everything works. There's no drag, there's no lag in that. Uh, I mean, even like websites just open faster. I know this isn't gonna be like the fastest load ever, um, but I mean, if you think about the fact that we're using a single core processor uh, to do this, I, I think that that's pretty wild. So yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> anything Windows can do, Linux can do better. And you'll see like, right, because I really wanted to lazy load a little bit, a little bit better. I don't know if that's a something I can can adjust in the about. I, I have, or well, I guess this is actually Chromium flags now. Uh, I, I haven't, I haven't used Chromium in a second. Um, anything is easy if you know exactly what you're doing. But by the same token, anything can be difficult or even impossible if you lack the requisite skills, resources, or knowledge. That's the basic premise of this video, where Linus and I, now three weeks into daily driving some form of Linux on our personal gaming machines, will change the gears and attempt to complete 12 simple tasks. Simple. Yeah, and so Linux isn't simple and it's not easy and this has been kind of a, a chore to get here, but I think that that's pretty wild um, and I'm really excited uh, that that I've been able to get, get it going this well, so. Yeah, I mean, it just switches desktops. Everything's working, got hardware acceleration going. Uh, sorry, this is a bit of a long video. I keep doing these, but um, yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out at Rad Linux.